This video is sponsored by PoTownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. Want to start playing competitively? It's very easy to do so with instant email delivery with the codes and they have a huge variety of codes up on their website, reaching from league battle decks, uh, specific promo codes or even the latest booster packs in town. So definitely check out PoTownStore.com and you can use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your next order. How wonderful is that? Also check out CardMarket.com. This is a European platform that I personally use every day. If you're a European player, you're obligated to check out the link in the description below. We're gonna be able to check out card market and you can buy cards and sell cards to people all across Europe. So definitely do so. You're gonna be helping me out a ton. So definitely enjoy this video and I'll see you guys soon. Peace. What's up YouTube, it's Zadoy's TCG here and welcome back to our TCG deck profile video on my channel. By popular demand, we're uh, exploring turbozation first, so we're exploring new deck profiles from battle styles and uh, this is going to be an interesting archetype, Zation is going to be a, a deck on its own, you no longer need ADP, so scratch ADP, it's going to rotate anyhow very shortly, that's good. So uh, Zation is a very strong card, uh, as we know the Intrepid Sword helps you out countless of times against stuff like Marnie or Reset Stamp, early on you can even accelerate energies for the people that are new to the channel and don't know what Zation does. Zation is a card with the Intrepid Sword ability and uh, that allows you to actually look at the top three cards of your deck, draw them out and uh, if you have an energy, a metal type energy, you can accelerate it to Zation but you don't have to. So not only can you draw cards with it, you can accelerate energies with it and you also have access to a very powerful attack in the form of Brave Blade being able to slap 230. In the past, we relied to ADP to just buff that up to 260. Now it's no longer needed because we're gonna get a card called Rusted Sword. And if you attach this to a Zation, uh, you actually slap uh, 30 additional damage. So uh, if you attach this to a Zation V, you're gonna be able to slap 264 Brave Blade. So that's uh, before applying weakness and resistance. So uh, very important because against uh, certain archetypes you may, I don't know if it's going to be necessary or not because 230 uh, times 2 is already like one-shotting anything but uh, that's uh, specifically stated on the card here and we're going to be getting this card very shortly so we have three copies of the rusted sword in here just to make sure that our zations are slapping 260. We also have two copies of galarian berserker so three copies of the galarian meowth and uh, two copies of galarian berserker you might even add it up to a third copy if you uh, come across a meta filled, filled with g-axis but like eternal has too much HP to begin with and uh, the better strategy in that approach is running Mawile GX and make sure the opponent slaps down two prize support Pokemon in the form of Crobat, the Dene, Eldegos and these are a Pokemon we're gonna punish. Uh, why are we are, are a very good deck right now with Rusted Sword? Well, glad you asked. There's still a lot of tag teams in the format. Think about like the ADP for if we mentioned that. So ADP, Picaram, uh, Mew Mew, now we're going to be able to easily slap 280 damage, so Rusted Sword onto the Zation, so you have 260 damage output, then a simple Galarian Berserker in play, bam, 280, it's gonna be awesome. So what else is in this list? We have access to uh, Aegis Slash, Aegis Slash will make sure you can also have yourself an out against uh, Decidueyes. And uh, it's definitely not necessary because if you uh, yeah, not appreciate the Sidewire and uh, you don't tag for it, you will kind of you're gonna come across a lot of the Sidewire and you're gonna be losing in tournaments. That's something you don't want. So one copy of Aegis Last, make sure you have an, uh, an yeah reasonable matchup against that like auto winning. <laughs> we also have Zamazenta being immune from damage from VMAX Pokemon. If you do come across VMAXs and you are not able to like uh, go for the one hit KO, Zamazenta is a perfect Pokemon. Not only uh, are the Urshifu VMAX is gonna be very popular. The Zamazenta is immune from damage to it and it also has uh, the Assault Tackle being able to discard the special energies attached to the opponent's act. So that's going to be very crucial because the Urshifus love special energies. Think about Single Strike Energy, think about Rapid Strike Energy. There's still people running Hiding Dark Energies and Eternatus. Uh, yeah, it's a whole heap of things you can get rid of also with Speed Lighting Energies for instance. So I'm a big fan of Zamazenta. So you have your uh, kind of a style where you have Zacian as your main attacker. The support attackers are Aegis Slash for the Decidueye matchup. Uh, we have Zamazenta for uh, VMAX matchups. And then there's Mawile being able to slap down uh, Pokemon from the opponent's hand straightly onto their bench. That's what it's all about. So... 
Typically, you will uh, knock out three two prize Pokemon, but I've also uh, seen that uh, if you're up against tag teams, if tag teams are still around in the meta, I predict they will still be around in the meta, you can one hit KO them with Axis of the Rusted Sword and, of course, Galarian Berserker, which is awesome. So, that actually puts you to 280 damage. If you get two Galarian Berserkers out, you slap 300. So, even like Mewtwo's with big charms also get one hit KO thanks to Zacian. How do we set Zacian up? Well, glad you asked. We're going to be resorting to uh, the uh, powerful Intrepid Sword, but we also have access to none other than Turbo Patch and Metal Saucer. Metal Saucer is busted in any metal deck, and uh, also Mawa can be uh, a very formidable attacker in sp sp specific matchups for sure, because you don't always need to like go crazy. Sometimes Mawa takes the last couple of prize cards. There's also three copies of Boss's Orders in here, and uh, we also have access to Eldigo, so you can bump that up to a uh, yeah, better number. I'm also like thinking about cutting the uh, Tool Scrapper. Tool Scrapper is nice to get rid of Big Charms, for instance, uh, if you don't get a uh, Galarian Berserker, or actually get two of them out. But uh, it is a uh, personal preference. You can cut that for a Turp Galarian Berserker or you can cut that for a Great Catcher and rely on the Mawel strategy. So uh, this is also actually a list that you guys suggested. So uh, every single week we're posting something on my uh, community page on uh, YouTube. And uh, sometimes you can, uh, it's a poll where you can decide which deck you wanna see up next. There's still a lot of things we have to explore for battle styles. And I'm very excited to be uh, showcasing these deck profiles very early so you guys can uh, start testing in real life or you guys know what to, uh, which cards you want to look out for when the set eventually drops. Okay, I also think that this uh, um, Rusted Sword will be in uh, one of our subsets that comes out in February. Doesn't matter, uh, you already are gonna get prepared for a deck list like this. Also, a new card that we will be getting in uh, Battle Styles is Escape Rope. This is a reprint, so uh, I think the last one was dated back to Burning Shadows, if I'm not mistaken. So, Escape Rope, very awesome, because if you slap it down, the opponent needs to select one of their bench Pokémon to be the new active Pokémon. Very similar like a Fion play, and uh, you also, as a bonus, we can switch our uh, active with one of our bench Pokémon. So, and the opponent selects first, so you have immediate uh, answers to stuff. So you play down Escape Rope, you can get your Zacian out of the active because if you use the Brave Blade attack, you cannot use it the following turn. So what you can do is like use Escape Rope and start attacking with something else. Also, if you're a fan of Bronzong, a 1-1 Bronzong is nice. The reason why we didn't put it in here and uh, we also don't, don't run like Pokemon communication is that we actually don't need it because the Galarian Meowth has a fantastic ability uh, letting you discard two cards from your hand in order to search your deck for a Galarian Berserker. So the Galarian Meowth can immediately like evolve in Galarian Berserker. If it's one turn in play, use the ability, you can do it. Also, the good news is that you can uh, yeah, tin your hand to uh, start playing with a Crobat. I also love doing that with the Galarian Meowth or getting metal type energies in the discard pile so you can abuse them with turbo patch and metal saucer. So with uh, four turbo patches and four metal saucers, you will uh, probably have enough attackers to uh, just uh, win yourself the game. And uh, as another fun fact in this list, uh, with of course the copies of Switch and Escape Rope, you have lots of ways to uh, reset the attack effect of Brave Blade. Sometimes you're stuck in the active, sometimes like they gust something up like an Aegislash Slash with a lot of retreat cards if you happen to start with it. You can easily get out of the active position with that. No need for Melowana because we're only running on two prize Pokemon, so no tag teams, no V maxes, which is very good in our favor. Mawel, a very, very nice Pokemon indeed, because that means the opponent will be able to slap down two prizers. And uh, you, can, you just uh, have so much tempo with the Zacian. Uh, the reason for that is like you can use Intrepid Sword, and you also can boss like uh, evolving uh, Pokemon, for instance, evolving V Pokemon that are, haven't uh, V maxed just yet. You can uh, gust them up with boss swords and knock them out. I've seen plays happening where you have a very great opening hand, where you have something in the active, uh, maybe Galarian Meowth and a Zacian on the bench, you attach to the Zacian, use the Galarian uh, Meowth's ability to get two metal energies in the discard pile, metal saucer, turbo patch, switching to the active boss. Uh, it, I've seen it happen, it works with this list, uh, so definitely check it out for yourself. Huge fan of Zacian, uh, I'm uh, actually getting into the, the, the mindset that ADP will rotate soon, so this is going to be the next best thing, and uh, all of these cards are very interesting. Also, it looks to be like it's almost post-rotation proof, so uh, that's also interesting, also only the Mawel is gone, but... Uh, and the Dana GX, but other than that, this is a nice way. If you're starting the game just now, this could be a nice starting deck for you. It is very strong, it has uh, tech cards against a whole heap of things, like we have the Zamazenta V, we have the Aegis Slash V, and uh, the only thing you want to do is like go quick, just so that's why there's also like two Dana in here. Yeah, maybe we can bump that up to some other cards in the future. Also, Cricketune V is something I'm putting my eye on in uh, decks like these, because you can tin out your hand with the Glare Meow, but that's just, uh, yeah, future talk. Uh, Maybe this is uh, the way to go for like 
pre-rotation. So this is the Dan AGX going quickly, getting stuff in the discard pile, use Turbo Patch, Metal Saucer, and attack with Zation instantly. That's gonna be the main focus. And uh, with Escape Rope, you can even punish uh, like uh, Eternatus players if they're like waiting on the bench and they only have one, uh, like let's say, mm, Krogan can be active position. You can actually slap down the Escape Rope, put that uh, Eternatus in the active slot and just punish them with Brave Blade for 230. So. Very huge fan. Also, uh, we have Metal Coating Energy, which is definitely necessary because there's still a ton of Welder decks running around rampant in the format. Think about Tempo's Art, Babel, Cephalon, Santa Scorch. I could name all of them, maybe even like the one price chairs are. So lots of Welder decks still around, also Mewtwo Welder. So definitely need that Metal Coating Energy to protect yourself. And how this was another deck profile on my channel. If you enjoy videos like these, be sure to let me know by destroying that like button as it helps out the channel more than you would possibly think. Also go check out our sponsors, uh, of course, PokeTownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TC Geo code cards and uh, you can use the coupon code Zapdos TCG for 5% of your next order. They have everything up on stock. Uh, Zamazenta codes, Zation codes, uh, needing the identity, you have the trainer toolkit code. So you have everything you might want and you can use the coupon code Zapdos TCG. Anyhow, also check out cardmarket.com. They are a European platform. If you want to buy cards and sell cards to people all across Europe, that is the website for you, cardmarket.com. Anyhow, have yourself a very fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with more Pokemon TCG videos. Peace.